once you're connected to the serial port and you get into the terminal mode, um, basically what we've got to do is go to keypad number two, the data menu. Uh, you'll notice you have the ability to view input values, view output values, and override input values. Uh, so keypad number three, uh, pick the port of the device. Now on this particular uh, LX Mini that I've got, um, what I'm going to use is the little uh, M650 that I have connected. So port number four, keypad number four, will give me my Vitronics meter. So I'm going to arrow down to the particular value that I want to force, hit enter, and I'm going to hit enter, force value, and I can force a scaled value or a percentage of full scale. If I want scaled value, just arrow over, put in the number that you want, hit enter, uh, arrow down to com status, arrow over to uh, offline online, uh, excuse me, arrow over, um, the tab, it'll go online, enter, and then time to remain forced, the default's five minutes. Um, you can change that as low as a minute, but you can't go any lower than that. Uh, arrow down to force value, press enter, and now when I go to my web browser, and I go to my data values, you'll see the actual force value. Um, if you want to, after you've verified that, um, it's going to stay online for as long as um, you put in that force value time. So then we can just uh, arrow down, go back, escape. And now what you have to do is number four, clear input override, yes, and it should unforce the value, okay? Um, the other thing you need to look at is on this data value screen, notice I can't force right now. I should be able to force this value. Check up here in the upper right-hand corner where it says the Orion is locked. Um, if under my scenes, web user interface, if I go down to the bottom here for force values, where is it? Data values, forcing points. Um, if you've got no login, um, you should not have to deal with the unlock. But if you've got it set to unlock, then um, what you have to do, I'm sorry, go back to my data values, click on unlock enter the appropriate password for the user, and now I should be able to force the value. Okay, um, take a look at that, and uh, let me know if that's still not working, and if it's not, um, um, if you guys are gonna be around tomorrow, maybe I can come up and give you a hand. Later.